Hey everybody and welcome back to the Dependent Fanatic channel. This video is going to be all about uh, bowl predictions. Uh, every year with my family and friends we all uh, pick each game and see who gets the most right. You know, we throw in you know a couple dollars here and there for everybody and, and uh, see who wins and the winner takes home the pot. Well, I'm going to put mine here on YouTube for all of you. It has to be done before the first games. Well, I'm going to be gone for work, as some of you may know, uh, all this week, so I won't be able to do it. So here we go, right here and now. Yesterday, I was kind of getting over a bug, uh, some kind of a cold. I feel a lot better today, and it's a good thing because this video is going to be a little bit on the longer side. And I'm watching my Detroit Lions play the Minnesota Vikings right now they could get to five, uh, six and seven if they win this game. Woo -hoo. Um, so if I'm a little bit distracted, that's what I'm looking at in the in the, on the side. But we're gonna start off here with the Bahamas Bowl, and this is kind of in order. It might not be in exact order of when the games are played, but I tried, and I also went through and looked. I wanted to look at what kind of injuries each team has and players that have opted out so far. I know things will change and more players will probably opt out closer to the the bigger games, the games that they play in. Um, but this is uh, what the best we can do right here. Bahamas Bowl has Miami of Ohio 6-6 six and six versus UAB 6-6. Six and six. UAB is favored by 11 points. I think they're the better team as well. Give me UAB. In the Cure Bowl, UTSA 11 and 2 versus Troy 11 and 2. Uh, I believe both were conference champion winners. Troy is favored by one, but give me uh, Texas San Antonio to win that game versus Troy. In the Fenway uh, game, you have Cincinnati 9 and 3 versus Louisville 7 and 5. That is a pick 'em game. It's even. Uh, Cincinnati's quarterback is out. Louisville's quarterback is out indefinitely. Uh, I guess, which means uh, it's not definite when he will be back. Uh, he could be back for that game. I have uh, Louisville. Cincinnati had a lot of uh, other players that were uh, beat up and hurt and out as well. Uh, give me Louisville to win the Fenway Bowl. In the New Mexico Bowl, Southern Methodist 7-5 will, uh, and five will be taking on BYU 7-5. and five. Southern Methodist is a one-and-a-half point favorite. Uh, BYU is a little banged up, but I like I like BYU in this game. In the Los Angeles Bowl, you have Washington State seven and five versus Fresno State uh, nine and four. Fresno State is favored by three. Big pass breakup by the Lions. Uh, Fresno State is favored by three and. I have Washington State. Pac-12 is going to roll. Uh, I, I like that conference. Great teams in that conference. Uh, just enough to get over Fresno State, I believe, for Washington State. In the Lending Tree Bowl, you have Rice, 5-7. and seven, I believe is the only under 500 team that uh, made it. I think it's the APR that gets them in, the top APR team. They must have been it. They will be playing uh, Southern Mississippi, and they are 6-6, six and six, and they are favored by 6.5 points. Give me USM in that game. Las Vegas Bowl, you have Florida, 6-6 six and six, uh, versus Oregon State, 9-3. and three. Oregon State is favored by 10. That's a lot of points. If I was uh, betting against the spread, I would take all the points and Florida. But since it's just straight up here, give me Oregon State to win this game. Florida's wide receivers, they have like four of them that are all beat up, banged up. And Anthony Richardson uh, opted out. So give me Oregon State in that one. In the Frisco Bowl, you have North Texas 7-6 and six versus Boise State 9-4. and four. Boise State's favored by 10. I agree. Give me Boise State. Myrtle Beach Bowl, you have Marshall 8-4 versus Connecticut 6-6. Six six. Marshall had that uh, remember, memorable win versus Notre Dame early in the season, kind of fell off of late. Connecticut kind of struggled early in the season, and uh, they are 6-6. Six and six. They finished strong to make a bowl game. I like uh, Connecticut under, I think, Jim Moore. Jim Mora is there. 
So give me Connecticut to beat Marshall. In the Idaho Potato Bowl, Eastern Michigan travels out to Idaho and to play San Jose State, who is seven and five. Eastern Michigan is eight and four. San Jose State is favored by three and a half. Give me Eastern Michigan. The MAC uh, wasn't the greatest at the top, but they were pretty uh, average, you know, above average teams, I guess, for a Group of Five conference. Give me Eastern Michigan. And the Boca Raton Bowl, Liberty, eight and four, is playing Toledo, eight and five. Liberty lost Hugh Freeze to uh, Auburn, their head coach. I, I like Toledo. I like their quarterback. They gave Ohio State some troubles early in that game. Uh, give me Toledo to win that game. New Orleans Bowl. You have Western Kentucky eight and five versus uh, South Alabama ten and two. South Alabama is favored by seven and a half points. I agree. Give me South Alabama and the Armed Forces Bowl. Baylor six and six is playing Air Force nine and three. Baylor is favored by six and a half. But it's the Armed Forces Bowl, and you have a military school in there, Air Force, with their uh, different offense. I like Air Force in this one. In the Independence Bowl, you have Louisiana, 6-6 six and six versus Houston, 7-5. and five. Houston is favored by 6.5, and, and I have Houston winning that game as well. In the Gasparilla Bowl, Wake Forest, 7-5 and five versus Missouri, 6-6. Six and six. Wake Forest is favored by 1. I'm not betting. Uh, I'm not betting against Missouri. They uh, hung close with the number one team in the nation, Georgia, for a long time. Held them to some field goals. Played good defense. Their offense scored some points on them. Wake Forest has petered out down the stretch, big time. No defense. Give me Missouri to win the Gasparilla Bowl. The Hawaii Bowl is Middle Tennessee seven and five versus San Diego State seven and five. San Diego State is favored by seven. And I agree. First of all, less uh, distance to travel. I know these teams get there early and they have their fun before the game is played. But I like San Diego State. In the Quick Lane Bowl in Motor City, Detroit, you have New Mexico State making their fourth ever bowl game. They are 6-6. Six and six, And Bowling Green, 6-6. Six and six. Bowling Green is favored by 2.5, but not so fast. I like New Mexico State in this game <clears throat> they are 3-0-1 all time in their bowls like i said uh it's the first one in a while i think 2017 but before that you gotta go way back give me new mexico state in the camellia bowl georgia southern six and six versus buffalo six and six georgia southern is favored by three and a half uh they are down like three wide receivers i think one or two could come back for this game i like buffalo like i said the mac um Conference is okay this year. <laughs> uh, in the Serve Pro Bowl, Memphis six and six versus Utah State six and six. Memphis is favored by seven. I have Utah State. In the Birmingham Bowl, Cal uh, Coastal Carolina is nine and three. ECU is seven and five. Couple Carolina teams. ECU is favored by ten and a half. I don't understand that uh, at all. That's a big spread. Coastal Carolina has beat Georgia Southern at Marshall, uh, and ECU has beaten Memphis, UCF, BYU. So neither one with great, you know, stellar wins. I like Coastal Carolina. They have the better record. They played about the same kind of a schedule. Give me CCU. In the guaranteed rate bowl, Wisconsin, 6-6 six and six versus Oklahoma State, 7-5. and five. Wisconsin is favored by three in this game, even without having a head coach. Luke Fickle will be there next season. I don't think any of these new head coaches can coach until uh, next season. So give me Oklahoma State, Mike Gundy, and the Mullets will pull off that one. In the military ball, UCF 9-4 and four versus Duke 8-4. and four. Uh, Duke had that really hot start along with Kansas. And both uh, kind of tapered off in the end. Duke is favored by one point, and I agree. It's going to be a close game, but I like Duke. Liberty, Kansas is 6-6 six and six versus Arkansas, 6-6. Six and six. Both these teams started hot. Arkansas is favored by three. Uh, and I agree, SEC team versus Kansas. Uh, Leopold, that coach, 
is great, but the personnel for Kansas is just not quite there yet. Arkansas has the SEC talent. Give me Arkansas. In the Holiday Bowl, North Carolina, 9-4 versus Oregon, 9-3. Oregon is favored by 14 points. Um, I think they win, but not by that much. Uh, Drake May or whatever is May is his name. The quarterback for North Carolina is really good. Their defense is really bad. Oregon is pretty good on both sides of the ball. Uh, way better on defense than North Carolina. Give me Oregon. Texas in the Texas Bowl. You have Texas Tech seven and five against Ole Miss eight and four. Mississippi is favored by three and a half. Uh, Texas Tech's quarterback is questionable. I like Lane Kiffin and the two-headed monsters at running back that they have. Give me Mississippi to beat Texas Tech. And the pinstripe bowl, Syracuse, uh, will be right in their backyard, 7-5. and five, And they will be taking on Minnesota, 8-4. and four. Minnesota is favored by 7.5, but Tanner Morgan is questionable for this game. I'm sure he'll play. Uh, but give me Syracuse. Uh, Purdue, who made it to the Big Ten Championship game, uh, couldn't beat Syracuse. It was a really close game. I don't see how uh, Minnesota can, especially that I think they're without Altman Bell as well. The wide receiver is injured. Mo Ibrahim will play, but give me Syracuse. In the Cheez-It Bowl, you have Oklahoma 6-6 six and six versus Florida State 9-3. and three. Florida State is favored by 7.5. I think... Both teams are glad to be here, but Oklahoma is really glad to be here because their uh, bowl streak is still alive, and they have 23 straight winning seasons in a row as well, which is on the line in this game. I think Venable's defense will be ready and uh, versus Mike Norvell's offense. Give me Oklahoma here in the upset. Alamo Bowl. You have Texas 8-4 and four versus Washington 10-2 and two this game. Is the one that took me the longest to decide. Texas is favored by four and a half. I went back and forth, but I like uh, Quinn Ewers and Texas. Um, Sarkeesian has to win this game. I think they will. In the Duke's Mayo Bowl, you have Maryland seven and five versus NC State eight and four. Maryland's favored by one and a half. Uh, NC State quarterback Morris is undecided, or yeah, undecided. Undetermined, I guess. Copeland and Demas are opted out for Maryland, the two uh, NFL wide receivers. Give me NC State. In the Sun Bowl, Pitt versus eight, uh, is 8-4 and four versus UCLA, 9-3. and three. UCLA is favored by 7. I think there's no way Pitt <laughs> wins this game. UCLA will come out on top. In the Gator Bowl, you have Notre Dame, 8-4. and four. South Carolina, 8-4. and four. Notre Dame is favored by 2. Their tight end, uh, Meyer, uh, the NFL prospect, opted out. I like South Carolina to beat yet another really good team, three in a row, Tennessee, Clemson, and now Notre Dame. In the Arizona Bowl, you have Ohio, 9-4 versus Wyoming, 7-5. Ohio is favored by one, but this is one MAC team I think will lose. Wyoming is a really good team out of the Mountain West. Ohio's uh, quarterback, Rourke, is out. So give me Wyoming in that one. Now we're getting to the bigger games here. Music City Bowl, Iowa, 7-5 versus Kentucky, 7-5. Kentucky won uh, this uh, bowl game between these two teams last year. Iowa is favored by two. Laporta is probable, the tight end for Iowa. And Kentucky's quarterback, Levis, opted out. Give me Iowa uh, to avenge their loss from last season. In the Quest Bowl, Mississippi State 8-4 and four versus Illinois 8-4. and four. Uh, Illinois is favored, I was surprised by that, by one and a half points. And I have Illinois. I think their defense is top three in the nation, very legitimate. Um, the offense can do just enough to uh, outscore Mississippi State's kind of a dink and dunk passing attack. Uh, they just won't be able to uh, air it out enough to be Illinois in the Quest Bowl. Citrus Bowl. LSU 9-4 versus Purdue 
two teams that lost their conference championships uh, respectfully. LSU is favored by 11 and a half points. Uh, the quarterback um, is his ankle is questionable, but I, I'm betting he'll play. Purdue's head coach, uh, Jeff Brom, has gone to Louisville. Give me LSU. In the Orange Bowl, uh, now we're down to the New Year's Six Bowls. We'll do the four that are not playoffs, and then we'll do the playoffs. In the Orange Bowl, Tennessee is 10-2. and two. Clemson is 11-2. and two. Clemson is favored by 6.5 points. Tennessee's quarterback, Hooker, uh, remember with the hamstring, I believe, is out for the remainder of the season. I know quarterback isn't everything, but that's a huge loss for them. Give me Clemson. Uh, that defense will be ready, and I think uh, Leung Lele is not playing anymore. It's the club net guy, I believe, and I like him better. Give me Clemson. In the Sugar Bowl, you have Alabama 10-2, and Kansas State 10-3 and coming off the Big 12 championship. Alabama is favored by three and a half. I have Kansas State in this. Uh, I don't think Alabama's going to even want to be there. I'm sure that they'll have some players that will be opting out as you get closer to that game. I don't think anyone will opt out from Kansas State. They are on a high, and they're going to ride that wave to victory, uh, ironically, to beat the Tide. Uh, in the Rose Bowl, Utah 10-3, and coming off their Pac-12 championship, is playing Penn State 10-2, and two, who has only lost to uh, two playoff teams, Michigan and Ohio State. Utah is favored by three, though, and I agree with Vegas. I think Utah is riding a high right now as well. They're the best Pac-12 team. Penn State hasn't really beaten anybody. Uh, Auburn's down. I know that was a drubbing down there, but and then the couple of games that they really played somebody in, Michigan blew them out. And Ohio State pulled away late in the end. Give me Utah. Uh, Kincaid and Cam Rising and all them guys. In the Cotton Bowl, USC is 11-2, and two, and they're playing Tulane 11-2. and two. Tulane won the American. USC is only fair by one and a half points. Uh, I about crapped myself when I saw that. I'm like, oh, give me USC all day long. I think. Said it might be a close game, but not that close. Uh, I know Caleb Williams is questionable. He just won the Heisman last night. He's going to play in this game. Uh, I think he's coming back next year, too, if I'm not mistaken. USC is going gonna, is gonna to roll to lane in, in the Cotton Bowl. It is playoff time. In the Fiesta Bowl, you have number two, Michigan, 13 and over. versus number three, TCU, 12 and one. Michigan's favored by seven and a half, and I did a full preview and prediction video on this game, so you can go watch that after this. Uh, but Michigan, if you watch that, then you know I, I have Michigan winning that game pretty comfortably. In the Peach Bowl, Georgia, 13-0, and 0, is number one in the nation versus number four, Ohio State, 11-1. and 1. Georgia is favored by six and a half points. Uh Henderson, the running back for Ohio State, is still questionable. I don't, I don't, uh, Michigan gave Georgia the template on slowing this passing attack, at least slowing it down and keeping the big plays from getting into the end zone. I think they roll with that, and and you know what Ohio State's defense uh, looks like. It's kind of Don Brownish from Michigan years past. Man coverage, you can, you can beat them over the top. And Stetson Bennett was in the Heisman ceremony last night as well. And they have weapons. Give me Georgia to win that game. So that sets up a rematch of last year's uh, bowl game, playoff game versus Georgia, Georgia versus Michigan. And Georgia doesn't have that NFL defense that it had last year. Still really, really good. Maybe best in the nation. And Michigan has maybe the best in the nation uh, defense as well. And offensively, Michigan is uh, light years better than last season. Uh, they have a, they're going to be playing the right quarterback this time around. And JJ McCarthy, Cade McNamara is at Iowa now. <clears throat> it's going to be a lot closer game than last time. I'll tell you that right now. And just because I'm a homer, I have to pick 
Michigan. And I really do believe, you know, it's kind of a team of destiny right now with the Michigan Wolverines. They really believe in their confidence is sky high. And the offensive line they have enables them to move on without Blake Corum, Michigan's Heisman uh, contender from a couple weeks ago before he got injured. So uh, Michigan is going to win the national championship, 15-0, and uh, by far be their best season in history. They never even had a 13-0 and season. They're here right now. So uh, there you have it. Now, my bowl predictions for every single bowl game, all 41 of them. I know there was one other one that had, like, FCS teams in it. Uh, I don't I don't even know where to begin there, so I didn't do that one. Um, remember to like the video, share, subscribe, and put down your predictions down in the comments or where you differ from me, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.